Now I can honestly say here's one I have not videoed before. Definitely won't see one every day. 1937 Cord 812 Beverly Sedan. I believe this is what they would have called Palm Beach Tan. Wine colored interior. Wide white walls and what they called the pontoon fenders with the hidden headlights. $289 underneath the hood. That is actually paired up with a three speed with overdrive called it semi automatic transmission. I'm going to show you how that works when we're on the interior of the car. This is a front wheel drive car. The transmission actually sits up in this area right here. Um, on this particular car, first, second, third, shift grade, uh, we have not uh, been able to get the overdrive or that fourth gear to work from the steering column. You can manually do it up front. It will engage and go into it. Uh, that gear and the transmission if you manually do it. But you'll see what I'm talking about when I get around to the steering column and how this uh, actually shifts. Now, still pictures. So you can see the underside of this car, the interior, the engine bay. Still pictures can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And of course, you can call us 507 386 1726. Thirty-seven was actually the last year of the cord. I guess what Sam Cole tried to bring it back and make a couple, but in all reality, thirty-seven last year the cord. Less than three thousand total cord models built. It's including all of them. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Locking gas cap, which I would have, I believe would have been standard back then, as well as a, a radio in the car. Wait till we check out the dashboard. Now, as far as the paint, there are some imperfections in it. Um, some are kind of tough to see. You can tell it is an older restoration. Like I said, came from a collector had it 30 plus years long-term storage so it is an older restoration take a look up and down the driver's side I know there's just some light cracking there if you can see that uh, there was a spot up here in the headlight I believe it was you can see that there's some like I said some blemishes or imperfections in the paint but I tell you what, you go rolling into any of your local shows, cruisings with this car. Definitely going to turn some heads. It's a suicide door up front. Rear one's open regular. You can see the door panel there. And uh, bench seat up front. Like I said, kind of a wine color. And let's check out this dash. Take a look, just beautiful, ornate dash. Now when I talked about shifting the car, right here, so this controls your transmission. That's gonna be reverse to first, and then second and third, or your three gears plus the fourth is an overdrive. This is where I mentioned, we've not been able to get it to go into fourth using this controller. Manually doing it at the transmission case, yes you can. Uh, headlights crank up right here on each side there's a control for that you can vent each side window there's also a lever underneath for opening the vents out here and that's on each side and just think of this 1937 how cool was this car let's go ahead and fire it up let's go ahead and turn the key on there's an electric fuel pump we're going to let that run a little bit believed to be original miles um, can't confirm or deny that once the vehicle is so old it does not stay with it on the title it's just marked exempt all right push button start right underneath here get a little gas there we go. 
listen to that. Again, 289. Sure, neutral. There is a parking brake down underneath the left side right here. Take a look at this plaque. Just put it on them before they left. Pretty smooth running engine. Kind of quiet. You're not going to hear a lot coming from back here at the exhaust, but you'd see it's not smoking. And let's slip up to the front. I want to show you how to open this hood and where the latch is at. We'll check out the engine bay. We'll wrap this video up. All right. So the actual lever is right here for opening the hood. So it's right in the front center. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. It's gonna take two hands. We're only gonna put open, check out the engine bay, and we'll wrap this video up. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. And here we are with the hood open. Now you can actually lock this hood also. There's a keyhole in the top, lever there that'll turn to lock it. This is actually the release from the outside. All right, 289 light homing V8. I mentioned earlier about the transmission, the front wheel drive transmission is actually down here. Smooth running. Something else. I'll show you while we're doing this. So here's the handle. And if we turn this, that is for up. We're going to crank that. Now again, remember there's one on each side. Alright. That's far enough to show you the effect of what that does. Headlight up. Flip around to the driver's side, do the same thing. So again, handle right here. Gonna turn this the up position. And both headlights up. Nineteen thirty seven Ford Beverly Sedan. Give us a call 507 386 1726. Uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email.